Today is Sunday, the 7th of August 2022. I'm here at the residence of a very eminent person in this area, whose name is Suku Sinarain. And here I'm going to introduce you to him for further information on him. Yes, tell me your right name, please, and where we are now. We are at number 34 Margaret Road, Margaret Road Village, Princess Town. And what is your name? My name is Mr. Suki Sinarain. Okay, were you born here or in this village? No, I'm born on the Estate Road, Margaret Road Estate Road. Was it sitting in the back? No, just just about a quarter mile from here. Okay, but when you're born, was it in a house or in the back? In a house. Can your parents used to live there? Yes. Okay, so what do you know about that area when you were small growing up? Where I born in the Margaret Estate Road, the barrack wasn't far off. But do you know the barracks? Yes, I know the barrack. Okay. We had a lot of the, um, some people from India okay. who were living in the barrack. Yes. But can you describe the barrack, how it was, one of the buildings? About how many buildings, barrack buildings were there? Well, there was about four barrack buildings okay. at the time. Uh, at that time? Yes, it was. Um, it was a flat building. A flat. Yeah, a flat. You don't have to go up steps to get inside. No, it had small steps. But I mean, but three treaders. Yeah, three to four treaders. Okay, and how many rooms one contained? One contained about two, uh, three rooms or so. And how many families would fit in there? Well, it's, it varies because in some it have um, four family, okay. some five, and so forth. But did you ever visit one of those barracks? From the outside. But not inside? Not inside. But from your observation outside, from your observation outside you could have seen how many rooms and so on, how yes. many barracks were there. Yes. But they, were they close? It's spaced, one barrack? Yeah, it was close, close, close. by. Close but by. do you know where, um, did they have running water there? Well, you couldn't see any water in front. Okay. Right. You couldn't see any water, but they had tanks. Tanks, okay. Water tanks. But the, but but the, the wrong, the wrong tanks, not the one like the, um... Not the galvanized tank? No. But the rubber tanks? Yeah, yeah, the wrong tanks. Okay, but those... Not the rubber tanks. Okay, I know, I know. Yeah. But it was more like the estate type. Okay, but those things belong to the estate. The sugar estate. And what sugar estate it was? Kearney, 1975, wasn't there at the time. Okay. It was before that time. So in the 50s, yeah. because I born in 1950, so around 1952, 53, we used to be playing all around there because okay. we was living close to the um, barrack. How far from the barrack? Well, we was living just maybe about four or five hundred feet okay. away from the barrack. Okay. So it had, um, we used to be playing as small children. But people, they were mostly from India? Yes. Do you remember some of them? Well, some of them, um, one of them especially, they used to call Boy. Mm -hmm. Boy. And and next one, he 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 himself the name Barak. Oh, the guy. One of them. One of them okay. the name Barak. Okay. Yeah. So I remember both of them because them was friendly. Okay. Them used to give the children um, sweetie and things, sours and sweeties. You know, sweetie. And they used to buy it there or make it. They they had they had they, either they make or they drink there. Okay. Yeah. Well, they had something like cookies, yeah, and biscuit. Okay. Yeah. There's a shed for children. Shed for children, and things. Okay. But what about the facilities, the, the toilet facilities, and so on? Well, that was more in the back. What they had? Latrine. Latrine. Okay. But each barrack had one. Well, it had each barrack had separate one. Oh, oh each barrack. Yeah, each barrack. Okay, so that everybody willing um, living in a particular barrack 
used to be using that. Yes, that using place. that separate one. But with the bay, they all, had all, all was built with wood. Okay, it was a wooden with structure. Wooden structure. No concrete posts. Yes, I think they had. Um, the, just the post was concrete. Okay, that's just about about three, four yeah, feet. Yeah, but the sail and everything was um, mm. was wood. But how many people do you think live there? Well, I think it's about 24, 25 people. During your time? Those there 24, 25 um, families? Yes. No. Well, it's, it's about five, yeah, about 25. 25. But Fam more than 25 families. No, what I mean when you, well families right? well one family will occupy one room or an yeah, apartment. Yeah, one family will occupy. So how many children did they have? Did they have living in one apartment? Let's put call it an apartment. Yeah, well in one apartment sometimes you see six children. Six, six and six, two is eight. Six, and another you might see eight, ten, or something. Okay, so. okay, okay. So the population was kind of yeah, yeah, they large. had children. But how many? And all of the all of them used to come in the crest, right down here. What is the crest? The crest is a place where the company had, yeah. where they kept the children, the people who work in the estate, mm -hmm. the sugar estate. Um, they have somebody taking care of the um, young ones. When you say the young ones, how old? Well, all kind of three years, two years, and things like that. So what Four they years had, how big was that crest? How many people they could have accommodated children? The crest could have taken maybe about 40, 50 children. Okay, so they had bed and so on? Yes, the crest had um, all facilities. Okay, was there a nurse? Milk, you used to get milk in the morning. No, was there a nurse um, to lick it? Yes, yes. You, do you know the nurse? Eh? Do you know the name of the nurse? Miss Jane. Okay. Miss Jane. Jane what? African? I just, we just know she has Jane. Okay, but she had some training, she's put on Yeah, yeah, pump. she had training. She used to take care of all the children. Okay. But it had other people with she too. But the population then, was a mixed population or predominantly? Um, oh. No, it had Indians? more Indian than Negroes, but, but it, had, it had one or two Negroes. Living in the back? Yeah. And also the children would go to the, yeah. would be kept in that... It, yeah. um, the yeah, crest. also the children too. It had um, a few Negroes, but it was predominantly um, Indian. Indians, okay. So, which school, which is the nearest school here then? The nearest school was um, the Irie Village Primary Government School okay. at Irie Village and the Presbyterian School. Both school was around the same distance, distance. but the Princeton Presbyterian. But where did they prefer? The people prefer to go which school? Where did they go? No, well, I will say half of the village went to the um, Irie Village Primary School, mm. and the next half, which was closer to the town, mm. went to the Presbyterian School. Okay, how many houses were there in Malgritutu? Well, there were houses there, yeah, but um, sugar welfare houses, mostly sugar welfare houses at the time. And people afterwards, they built over new houses. But the sugar welfare houses were just two bedrooms. Mm -hmm. Only two bedrooms. Because that was a sugar welfare loan the sugar workers and the farmers used to get from the company. What? What year are you speaking about? Or years are you speaking about? That is in the 1950s and 60s. Okay. But, but you would not know before how many houses were there and how they were built, what was the shape of those houses. You would not know. No, but when I grew, when I born and grew up from a young boy, some of the houses was sugar estate and it was one type of houses. Okay. Right? And um, it was concrete structure. Okay. Concrete structure, but two bedroom and a small gallery. 
and because the loan what they used to give was um i think it was fifteen thousand dollars at the time so where you are here this is margaret Tooth road this is margaret Tooth road okay and the estate road the margaret Tooth estate is just to the back of me that's where the barracks and then were. yeah that's where the barracks and it was okay but did, well, of course, you said you were born in that area. Yes. But how many houses do you think were there in the estate room? Well, I will say, um, at the time it could have have um, maybe about, when I born, it could have have about 20 houses. Okay. 20 houses. But were the, um, was that road paved? No. What the, was? the road was a pitch road at the time. Okay, let's pay with pitch. Pitch. Okay. Not with um, the pot mix. Okay, okay. Ah. Not with the barber green. It was pitch road up to a certain point. Okay. And Which? part by the recreation ground coming down the hill was mm -hmm. mud. Okay. Yeah, it was mud. So that was unfinished road then? That was a trace. It's a mud trace, a mud continuation. Yeah, continue. continue to where? Continue, continuing to the um, M1 road mm -hmm. and to the scale, mm -hmm. to the scale. Yeah. To the scale, yeah. To the scale, to the scale house. Okay, good. Which school did you go to? I went to the Ivy Village Primary Government School. Okay, and do you remember? Um, Tell me your experience in that school there. What year did you go there? I started school. I start school 1955. Mm -hmm. The year 1955. Okay. Yeah. And do you remember your teachers and so on? Yes, the principal, especially Mr. Sam Ali. Okay. He was a very nice person. Um, very helpful to the children. And um, I remember um, all the teachers who teach. Can you name them, please? Yeah, one was Mr. Prime. Okay. Um, it had um, Zamora, mm -hmm. Rita Zamora. Yeah. Nice teacher. And um, it had several other teachers. John Rampasad, he was the vice principal. Um, all of them deceased now because okay. they was um, middle-aged people at the time. So all of them who was at the school at that time, all of them deceased as far okay, as... Okay, but were, were there um, an equal amount of male and female, like girls and boys going to school there? Yes, it was about even, boys but and girls. Do the girls and them, do they at, did they attend school? You know, long ago people never allowed their children to go to school. The girl children? No, no girls used to attend school. Okay. Girls used to attend school. Parents just to send the girl child. To Until what class did you um, read? I, I reach um, when I reach at no, um, standard five, and I went to write um, common entrance exam. It so happened I didn't get to write the exam because I went at St. Stephen College to write this um, common entrance exam, and when I went there. The people, we sit down in the desk, all the children sit down in the desk from various schools. And um, I was in the second row, and a boy was talking. And the supervisor tell him stop talking, otherwise she'll put him out. So a few minutes after he talk again, so I say, boy, stop talking, and she put out two of it. Mm -hmm. So I didn't see the paper, I didn't get to turn over the paper or anything, I get put out. And that bothered me. Mm -hmm. Because after the result came out, people who came lower than me in tests, mm -hmm. and one of them was a doctor. A became doctor. a doctor, became, became a, a doc doctor. What's his name? Farouk. Farouk? Farouk Razak. Okay. I'll never forget that. And uh, but the principal they know, mm -hmm. the principal they know that I didn't get to write the exam because um, other pupils who was there they came and they tell the principal I, I get put out. 
okay. from the class. So that bothered me for a few weeks. I never tell my mother, parents, anything, otherwise I get licks for talking. Yeah. But I really didn't look at it that way. I just tell the boys, stop talking. Okay. And I was put out too. Mm, yes. so, that, was that was harsh. Yeah. That what, was but harsh. did you did the, but did those you con- days, those days it didn't have a um, junior, second, senior, and, second. But did you um yeah. continue education? That yes, school? yes. After school, yeah, the principal had me um, teaching a class mm-hmm. for two terms. Mm-hmm. But that, those days they still from standard six and seven. They used to take the bright children yeah. and they used to. Um, we could them as monitors. Monitors, correct. Okay. And um, after two terms, I remember that carefully. Um, I really remember that because the cane crop they start in January. At the same time, school term reopened, school reopened. And the principal, we had a land just near the school there. And the principal see a loading cane with my father. Mm-hmm. That principal was one of the best principal I could say. Mm-hmm. His God, name? Bless, God bless Sam. What is his name? Sam Ali. Okay. That principal leave and come and ask me, why are you coming to school? When he almost reached by the, the cat, uh-huh. where the loading cane. Um, I saw him coming mm-hmm. and he just raised his hand and he, he waved it for her to come mm-hmm. to him. And when I went to meet him, he said, who stopped you from school? He thought it was my father. Mm-hmm. So I tell him, no. I say, I know I reach 15 years mm-hmm. and I know when you reach 15 years, you have to um, stop school. Yeah. So he said, no. Would he expect you? We have you teaching a class and thing. Yeah. But I didn't went back. But I'm sorry about that. Okay. That was a mistake I made. But did you discuss it with the father? No, I didn't discuss it with him. But did the principal discuss it with the father? No, with your father? he didn't discuss it because my, my father was a, a kind of voice for us person. Uh-huh. Voice for us person. Voice for us Voice for us person. So. Um, so you didn't want to get him involved in Yeah, they didn't want to uh, tell him anything because he have my loading cane already. Yeah. And in those days, um, parents used to have the children in the cane field, mm-hmm. working in the cane field. So did you write um, school leaving? Yes, and I passed school leaving. So based upon that, they recruited as a teacher? Yes. As be, a monitor, as a yeah, monitor. Yeah, monitor, yeah, yeah. Okay. Because when I re- passed school event, they had me teaching two terms for them. Okay. Uh, because I did not pass school event. So then what but, followed from there? You went to the cane field. What happened? Did you continue the cane field? Yes, I continued, but I used to go evening classes in um, San Fernando Technical Institute. Doing what? They I used to be learning um, welding. Okay. Welding. How long did you attend? I attended the San Fernando Technical Institute for two years and then I stopped off because I had parents' problem because my mother, yes. she gets sick. Okay. And she was by my grandparents yes. and they had to take care of she. And we had a family problem at that time. Okay. Domestic problem, okay. Yeah, domestic. So problem. that impeded your progress. So. Yes, yes. So you so. you you sort of ceased going to that school temporarily, or you just, was it a a temporary stay, or you had gone back to the school? It was a permanent stay. Which one? To the school? No, did you go back? You had stopped because domestic issues. Yeah, yeah. No, I didn't went back. So, but did you qualify as a Yes, and, um, as a welder. What I did afterwards, more than a year after, mm. I went by a private, um, private company. Name? The Sa- Sahatu. Sahatu had eyes at um, Kokie. Kokie. Yes, yeah, Sahatu he had a school. Welding, welding school. Okay. And I get, I was, I get my certificate and thing there. Okay. 
So that is how I get work in ministry of works there after. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's speak. Did you work in the estate at all? Yes, I work in the estate. Sugar estate, right? Yeah, the sugar estate. Doing what? Well, I used to help my mother. Mm -hmm. We used to go in the estate there mm -hmm. and help them throw up cane and things. Where's your throw up cane? Do what? The, in the bundle. No, okay. What? Um... They used to have cart and things before. Well, tell me about the cart. The car transport, right? Yeah. The Was it a bull cart, a ox cart, or a, or a mule cart? Mule. That the SF... predominantly mule at the time. Oh, the SF had mule. Mule, yes. Okay. So uh, the mule is to hold the cane in a hold cart. Hold the cane. But long after, a few years after, then they bring bison. But did you load any cane? Did you operate yes, any mule yes, cart? Yes, yes, yes. So your mother, you, we you have your mother cut the cane? Yes. And when the mule cat would come, yeah, they load the cane. Who you would have loaded? Uh, yes, so we just throw up with the cane far apart. Yeah. So we throw it near the near the wheel, yeah. and they will pick it up. Okay, okay. So you Me, uh, okay. yeah. Well, you cut the cane and put it near like uh, two rows, and the cat would go between. Yeah, is it so? between. But sometimes. Uh, the cane where they far off, where they throw far off, you throw it near the cat. Okay, okay, you were assisting that way? Yeah, in okay, that way. Okay. But, to but load not, that... to load, not to load mm -hmm. the cane, okay. predominantly. But did you get pay? No. So you just assisted your mother? Yeah, just And how old were you then? Well, all kind of 10 years and things old. 10, 10 11 years, years yeah. So that, that is while you were going to elementary school? While, while we were just going to school. Okay. But we used to do that... Um, Mostly on the weekends. Weekends, yes. But yeah, long ago, Saturday. Saturday. But yes, it's work on Saturdays, right? Yes, yes, it's work on a Saturday. But do you know how much they paid uh, uh, for a ton of cane? Well, I yeah. know they used to pay nine dollars a ton. No, I'm not. Talk, I'm, talk, I'm, I'm talking about cutting the cane. The cutting the cane. They used to pay. I'm first, they used to pay sixty cents. You talk about the estate, okay? The estate, 60 cents. The cut estate cane. cane. So children were allowed to go and have their parents? Parents, yeah. Okay. But did you get any money for out of that? Uh, sometimes a penny. Okay. The big penny. But what a penny could I buy? Tell me. How valuable was that penny? Well, that penny, you're going to have sweet drink with that penny. And that, you're going to have a, a nice well, um, red cokes. Um, sweet, solo. Red Solo. Okay. With a Red, penny? With a penny. So you would get a penny a fortnight or what? A week or what? Um, sometimes you get two penny for the week. Uh, for the week. So that's enough? Yeah, that's enough. So what do they, did they sell in school? Well, you went to school. There were vendors there? Yes, there was vendors. Let's but sell what, what we had, we had yard behind the house. We had fine yard. Okay. Things yeah. like tomatoes. Okay, not, not going that far ahead. Yeah. We, we're at the school now. Yeah. We're speaking about the value of the penny. Yeah. And what they sold in school and what they could have bought in school. Now, well, were there vendors in the school? Yes. Selling yeah, what? They used to sell sweetie, yeah. they used to sell tamaran, mango and char, sugar cake, little pies. But those were homemade? Homemade, all was homemade. So, um, what you could have bought, let's say they are, you, you mentioned about five things there. No, uh, but you could have bought um, uh -huh. a slice of cake uh -huh. for a cent. Okay. For a cent. So two cents is a penny, right? Two cents is a penny. Okay. So you buy a size of cake and they used to have juice. And the juice the is? juice is for one cent. So a, a cake and a juice? Yeah, for the penny. a penny. Penny. Okay. But tell me who were the vendors? Who were the people who retail these things? Were they homemade? Yes, they were homemade. But the vendors and them used to be mostly Negro people. Mm -hmm. Negro people who sell it. Okay. And they were people who from Corial Road. Okay. Corial Road. By okay. the cemetery they are going lower down. Okay, okay, okay. So it was mostly um, Negro people mm -hmm. from Korea. They used to be selling. Um, selling. Okay. Well, let's come to something. 
um, you said those things were homemade. Homemade. Did yeah. they sell it in their delicacy? Yes, they had um, they had pulori. Oh, but who's to sell that? Who's to sell that one? That that was an Indian lady. Okay. She used to sell that pulori. She Alone? used to only sell pulori and chutney. Uh, and chutney. Chutney is uh, a sauce, and, right? Yeah, chutney. That is the um, coconut chutney. Okay. Coconut. Uh -huh. Which is dry coconut, they break that and they make chutney. That is add pepper, salt uh, and garlic yeah, and yeah, onion, yeah. right? So it's just a That's an appetizer, okay? Yeah, it just to be nice. So uh, how many polaroids you could have gotten with a cent or a penny? With a cent you could have got um, four polaroids. And a penny is it? Yeah. Okay. With and food? that full your belly, a cent four polaroids. Full your belly. Okay, because let's it make nice. Okay, but tasty because the chutney yeah, is an appetizer. Yeah. yeah. Now let's come to what other sort of sports you all played in school? Well, in school, um, cricket and football. But uh, the you speak of Ivy Village Government School, okay? yeah, yeah. But is there a large backyard? Yes. There's a recreation going to the back of it. The, the, the back of the school where you could have played cricket. But how, yeah. how large was that? It was the whole width of the school itself. Mm -hmm. The whole width, it was about a hundred and um, maybe a hundred and thirty feet or so. Uh, the square? Um, to the back of the school. Uh, 130 feet in width uh -huh. and in length. Okay. 130 feet. And in width, it could be about 60 feet. So that was a, on the little piece of land after the 60 feet. It, it was a descent. Yeah, yeah. So then when it hit a ball, it could have gone straight down. Yeah, it going straight down. Down, that is... Sometimes it going to the cane field. With the cane. cane in the back. But it bounced because it was, was mostly um, the sponge ball they played cricket with. Okay. And then... Later on, when we went into higher classes, mm. we play with the cock ball. Okay. Cock ball. But different classes, the mm -hmm. smaller children play with the sponge ball, and the bigger children, who is standard four, standard five, and so forth, they play with the um, cock ball. So, did you all play football there? Yeah, we play football there. Now, but uh -huh. then again, we used to go in Potato Peace, that is a ground in Ivy Village. Yes. Okay. We used to go there after lunch. Lunch time, after lunch, about from half past one. Mm -hmm. One o'clock, half past one, we used to go down there. We used to play, and when it's quarter to three, we coming back. No, but we understand that. Well, okay. Was that a regular thing or once a week? For different classes? It was once per week. So that so each the, class would go? Mostly, mostly standard five, six, and seven years to go. You all used to go there to practice? Practice, yeah. Okay. Because the ground bigger, it's wider, and it's mm -hmm. a public ground. And uh, yeah, that's a few minutes away from the school, yeah, about five yeah. minutes away? Yeah, just about ten minutes away. Ten minutes, okay. So amongst the, the students in your time, tell me a few who became prominent cricketers or footballers? Well, it had boy Ramjes. Ramjes was a, a prominent cricketer. Does he have a, what is his full name? Ramjes Gayadin. Did he play for any club afterwards? Yes. He played for Margaret Um He used to play Jagannath okay. cricket ground. He scored several centuries. Mm -hmm. For Margaret Toot against other teams. And who are the other people that you can mention of him? It had Kenny Mohammed, he was a good cricketer. It had um it had about it had Sukdeal Bridge, he used to play good and Russell Mark. They okay. were good cricketers. Okay. Let's come to football now. Well I was a goalie and okay. a fairly good goalkeeper. Okay. Because I I play um, goalkeeping for Ivory Village Government Primary School against other primary schools. Okay. 
Okay, you while well, you are where the captain? No, but I was a goalie. But can you name some of the, the 11 people who played? Yes, I could name um, Bisu Narain, Keith Mark, it had um, Ralph Mills, it had Sukdev Bridge. And several other people. Okay, but did they graduate to become members of a prominent um, sports club, or a football club, or a cricket club? Well, Henry Hussein, who was there, he used to play for Black Hawks in Skinner Park. Oh, that is a, a team? Yeah, he was a, in a higher class than me. Okay. But what happened, he was a good, prominent uh, footballer. Okay, and but it had, uh, it had um, a footballer by the, I know him by boxer, mm -hmm. but he was in a higher class than me. So I just know him as boxer, but he was one of the prominent footballer. But did they join this club, this magnitude um, sports club or cricket club no, or football? They club? was in Iri Youth. Iri okay, youth. because okay. They so the nearest village, village here. And the West is Ivory Village. Yeah, and but then, uh, Ivory Village had better footballers. Margaret Tooth okay. had better cricketers. Okay, so that the school population co consisted of people or students from Ivory Village and, and Margaret Tooth and Monstuart. 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 Okay, so Monstuart. Claremont Village, Monstuart. Okay. So, so the, you had the population from the school, Ivory Village Government Primary School, from Ivory Village, from Margaret Wood, from Claygon Village, from Monstuart, and, um, and from the Branch Road, Ivory Village. Oh, yeah, branch, branch Road, right. Yeah. Korea Road and Korea Ivory Road Branch Road. Road. Now, French. the nearest school, West. Was Palmyra Hindu school? Palmyra Hindu school. So they would take care of the people from, from Palmyra. Palmyra and part oh, of Clegon yeah. Village. Although it had from Reform Junction, yeah, yes, about three houses in Palmyra, it mm. had students coming to Ivory okay, Village. Okay, some primary people school, are. Ivory Village Primary School. Okay, yes, okay. Just about three or four houses. Okay. They had students. Okay. Pupils, yeah, mm -hmm. come into a... Right. Well, it, it, uh, it happens always in yeah, yeah. adjoining villages. Some yeah, people yeah. would go yeah, yeah. maybe to the further school. And in those days, students walking for a mile and a half, yeah. coming to school. Barefooted? Barefooted? Barefooted. Barefooted. But did you go to school barefooted? I went barefooted. Most of, most of my um, in primary school, mm -hmm. I went to school there bare feet. The last two years I went with slippers. Rubber slippers? Rubber slippers. But I went to school mostly bare feet. So you would say the last two years would have been how many years? You would have been 15? Yes. 15? Yeah. The last two years I would have been 15. I went to school until 16 years old. Then. And that, yeah, but that, what, what there did it st stop? I stopped school in. No, I went to school till 1967. 67, elementary school? Yeah, primary school. Yeah, no, that's elementary school. Anyway. Primary school. Okay. I went 67. And when I stopped, the principal had me teaching. Yeah, you had mentioned that before. Yeah, so. Yeah. But were there. Well, well, you were the brightest or one of the brightest students? No, well, I succumbed. The latter part of uh, school days, I succumbed good. Yes. Okay, let's come to the school living. The school yeah. living. You did, you made distinctions? Yes, in, in arithmetic uh -huh. and English. Okay. Yeah. So, on the basis of which you were selected as a monitor? Yeah. Uh, that is, okay. 
Amadina is a student teacher, right? Yeah, student teacher. student teacher. So, were you the only one selected during that time to be a monitor, a student teacher? No. It had other... Um, before my, before me... No, I'm talking about your uh, year, your year, your year. Yeah, it was only me. Only you? Only me. But did it recruit anybody since you opted out voluntarily? Did you, did anyone take your place? No. But there was nobody else qualified no, like you? Nobody else qualified at the time. Subsequently, somebody came. Probably subsequent year. Maybe you, uh, when I left. Okay. Maybe. Oh yes, it have had a um, person about two years later. Okay. From Palmyra. And we used to call him Smiley. Okay. Um, a Negro person, very fair. Mm -hmm. But um, Spanish type person. Okay. Okay, okay, he just, but yeah. you lost your, you, you lost the opportunity. Yeah, I lost the opportunity. Well, you gave up the opportunity, yeah. you didn't lose it in the yeah. sense that um, somebody yeah. took away from you, there yeah. was a competition, yeah. and you lose, right? It wasn't that. You opted out. Uh, yeah, I opted out. Yeah. Okay. Let's come to, um, do you want to say anything in respect to your school days? And yes. No, let's come to the girls. What? What did they play? Well, the, what sports they play? Well, it had good runners, both boys and girls. But the girls, it had some really good runners. Some of the boys couldn't run with them because it had a girl named Bramble mm -hmm. and Douglas was one. Two sisters. And then it had the Richards and them. Them girls was real fast. Them was good runners. Them is to well, them is to run in the Victoria East schools division. Okay, okay. They get prizes and thing. They win um, trophies and thing for the school. Okay. They were especially Bamba girls. She always come first. Okay, what I'm talking about. But that's your athletic, right? Athletic. I'm speaking about the school. The school had a yard, a backyard yeah. and a front yard. Yeah. The lady, the girls more, more or less played in the front yard, is it so? Yes. But what the did girls they... more played to, between the annex uh -huh. and the big school. But that's in the front, okay? Yeah, and more in the front. Okay. But the boys play more in the back. But they, they, um, they, Played in the back. They yeah, occupied. They occupied the back. The back. They played, Tell played, me, what played. sport did the ladies play? The girls. Well, it will play hopscotch. Okay. Mostly hopscotch in the yard. Okay. And <laughs> they play running. Running. Hoop and Race. whatever. Yeah, and hoop. But hopscotch. Okay. Yeah. But tell me some brilliant girls that you remember in your class. The, could have any another competed with you? Yes, it had some bright girls. I remember one named Radhika. Radhika, what? Was it her title? Yeah, Radhika. Um, she was from Mons George. She was very bright. Um, it, it was difficult for the boys to um, place first. She used to always be first in the class. Okay. Right? Um, and it had several other girls just to be in the first ten. Sometimes seven girls and three boys. So that the, the boys six. lag. Yeah, yeah, the boys and the lag behind. Behind, yeah. I used to come all around twelve, don't you? Okay, okay. Twelve. 12 Eleven. It means the girls was the girls were really bright, yeah. Far brighter than far brighter than the boys. So so I why come, did they choose? Why? I used to come in the first 12. Yeah. But did they choose any one of them to be a monitor? Um, no. Why? Because why them girls pass the common entrance? 
Okay, so they were they opted, not opted, but they, they had a, the choice. Yeah, they ah. had a choice for the, uh, the because those girls were bright, and so they went to higher school. Which school you think? Which school would you say? Which, which school, which school, which school they went to? Well, they were placed. Them, some of them went to St. Stephen College, uh -huh. some went to Prima girls, mm -hmm. and some of the boys who passed the common entrance, like Farouk, mm -hmm. He went to Naparima College. He became the doctor, is it? He became the doctor. So, it, uh, you know, that bothered me because when he passed for Naparima, I bent my head. <laughs> Were you brighter than him? Yes, I was brighter than him because he used to come all kind of 19 and 20 in class. Okay. So, when he passed, we wonder how he could pass this exam. But yeah, we wonder how he passed this exam. So the principal tried to compensate that, right? Miss, miss, I would, I would say misbehavior. Was you did not No, I was well disciplined. The other guy, but you fell victim, or you were tagged along him. Yeah, yeah. Because you were speaking to him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you're conversing with him. He didn't hear you, but he yeah. saw you. Okay. How far was that supervisor from you? The supervisor was just a few feet because I was in the second row. Well, of course, he must have heard you. Yes. Um, yes. Not only what you said, um, you only said one word. What did you say? All I say is, I tell the boy, I say, boy, stop talking. Right, you only said that. Yeah, boy, stop talking. Probably the principal, probably the supervisor might have thought you were speaking to him. No. No, okay. the supervisor was a lady. Okay, well, that, that, was that, a, a fat lady. That is, fat. that was a husband. Yeah, yeah. Type. And I, well, he, the boy, he bolted out of the class because we believe he would have failed the exam anyhow because he come in. But he had gone already. But how? When he come out of the class, um, he bolted out. I take a while to move out of the chair because I'm watching the supervisor to say, well, sit down. Did he tell you, the she, she, did she tell you to go out? Yes, yeah, she said. Um, so you were hesitant to leave because I you believe... I hesitant to leave because I come to write an exam. And beside that, you believe you, you, you did not say anything wrong, is yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. But you spoke? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. And, and then when he bolted out, then what happened? When I raised up and hesitant to move out of the seat, she keep watching at me. She eye gazing at me. Intimidatingly. Yeah. So that was a signal I should leave. She didn't motion you to leave? She told me to leave before. Okay, so you were, you were disobeying. Yeah. yeah, she told me to leave. Okay. Well, that has gone under the pitch now. Yeah, yeah, that's gone. But, but that, did you make up for that um, in terms of your achievement? No, no, I didn't make up for that because those days that parents wasn't able to send you to college. But the principal tried to redeem you and give you a position. Yes, yes. But yes. were you so um, educated? No, well, what happened, ma'am? I didn't think about the monitor system at the time. It's afterwards when I leave. Then um, one of the teacher, um, I think it was Happy. Mm -hmm. Happy told me I shouldn't leave because they had me teaching as a monitor. Happy is Mohammed. He's a Mohammed. Yeah, yeah. I know him. Yeah. Yeah. So he told me I shouldn't leave because he was a monitor already mm -hmm. in the in the school there. So he tell me I shouldn't leave afterwards, but yeah. I did not leave. By the way, yeah. is it the reason, one reason why you did not resume that teaching as a monitor? Is it because your father has given you a penny a day or a month or whatever? No, it's because it was hard time. It was hard time. My mother was sick already. Mm -hmm. And what happened is um, 
we had to do all the chores, home and thing, as uh, small children. Yeah. Uh, we had plenty of animals and things to see about before we go to school and things. So that, you couldn't have completed those, those things before? No, no. It and was too much, it was too much. And I'm on it. We had, we, before we go to school, mm. I personally, as a young boy, I had to go and cut grass, mm. tie out goat, tie out the animal. We had a milking cow, um, you know, and we had a different grass um, plant. So, when oh, I come, yeah, how far was it from the school, from the home? The, well, it was. Uh, the elephant grass was about 150 feet. So that you have, would have had to cut this grass, what, for the animal, the cows to feed, right? Yes. During the time you were absent. You were absent. That yes. is, you were in school then, yeah. right? Yeah. And being a monitor, and yeah. that would have affected your um, punctuality and regularity. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So you couldn't have fit in, in the um, scope of the rules and regulation, okay? No. And, well, of course, you gave a, a justifiable reason, a justified reason that the family, the demands of the family... Yeah, it. no, it's more predominantly, predominantly, because uh, my mother gets sick. Okay, well, you understand that, and yeah. she used to be helping out. Yeah, she used Well, to you be. took her place, in other words, yeah. right? Yeah. What she could have been doing, or she did, before she got sick, right? She could have done that again because of illness. Yeah, because and you had to fill the breach. Yeah. Okay, and that's what you're telling me. Yes, and because what happened is what we used to do in the morning. She used to do it when she come from the estate. Okay. So we had to do that because we as young children, me and a bigger sister, mm -hmm. um, she used to have to. Um, cook and take, mm -hmm. wash clothes and take. And we used to have to do all the... She used to do the, the, the domestic work. Yeah. Because your mother was confined, you know. Yes. Um, yeah. yes. Now, um, so you had to do what your mother did previously, okay? Yeah. Like go and yeah. cut grass or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, while you were at school or before school, yeah, they, they had Ample, she had ample time to provide for the animals and so on, grass yes, and so she, on. Yes, when she come from the estate work, because mm. they come in around 11 o'clock. Okay. She, she, she will get up 4 o'clock, she will cook. Mm. Um, and then 5 o'clock, then leave in her quarter past. Okay, let's come to a, a normal day in the family. And begin with your mother. Okay, let's. What time did she rise from bed? Well, she so quarter to four until she waking up. Okay. Quarter to four. Um, Half past four, my father is to wake up. Okay, but all right, and then she's as soon as she has to get up, she will do her. Um, she will do the cooking and the cooking because and she don't prepare everything the night before. Okay. To just to uh, put in the pot and to. Uh, Cook up and okay, take. right. The preparation, preparation for the cooking, right? For the cooking. But did you all cook what? You had stove then? No, chula. What is chula? Guys, guys, um, it's a earthen fire. It's a fire side. Yeah, that's right? fire side. That is with a mud. Mud, right? Okay. Mud fire side. And you could cook the, um, two pots. Could fit in one. They had two separate chula. Yeah, two separate children. Right? Yeah, two separate children. So that you could cook two meals, two different meals. One time. One time, right? With yes. Wood, use wood. Where did you yes, all get? Use wood. Where did you all get the wood? Well, it had plenty of bamboo. Okay. So we used to get dry bamboo and firewood beside that teak. Yeah. We used to use teak and teak. Dry sticks, right? Uh, dry teak, yeah. So she would cook and she would cook for lunch time too? Well, what she cook for the morning, mm -hmm. we will eat that for lunch time because okay. it is roti, 
yeah. with whatever, um, if it's body or tomatoes or whatever it is, we will eat that for lunch time. But did you all me eat, eat meat during that time? We eat meat um, mostly on a Sunday. Okay. Mostly on a Sunday. Right. Um, and sometimes fish, we will eat fish Saturday. Okay. Saturday. But my father never eat fish. Okay. But no. he eat meat, he eat meat, right? Goat meat. Okay, no chicken as well? No, he... But did you um, um, work um, fowl, yeah, chicken? Yeah, he will eat egg, fowl egg. Okay. But the meat, you know, you mostly eat the um, fry egg. Or so your mother would have come home from she after cooking the meal she would go to India say to work. Yeah. And come back home at what time? Most of the time around half past eleven. And because then them going early, they coming back. Because when she comes home now, what did she do? What when she when came home then? When she come home, she bathed and thing, mm. clean up her skin, yeah. put the clothes to wash. Mm -hmm. And then she will um, go inside, whatever food it have there, she will eat and thing. Mm -hmm. And then she will prepare a meal to cook. That is for the evening, supper. Yeah. But did she go in the garden afterwards? Yes, around half past two. So would she cook before she goes to the garden, or before she went? No. It's when, when she come back, she all cook. around five, okay. she'll come back. All so around. then she did two shifts. Yeah, one in the estate and one. Yeah, one in, in the cane fields. Field, yeah. Okay, in the crop time, that is in the reaping season, she would go and uh, cut cane, is it? In the reaping time. Yeah. Um. And she, she never the, she never cut cane in the in the harvesting time. No, for we you. had other people cutting cane. That's in your fields? Yes, in my father's field. Okay, well, yes, we consider yours now. Father field. Okay, so, and what she did then? Well, she will, um, we had a lot of fine garden, like tomatoes, vegetables, and things mm. like that. Mm. She will be in that garden. Oh, yeah, the vegetable section. Vegetable section. So the cane section. We had tomatoes, melon, John. We have pepper, hot pepper, sweet mm. pepper. Um, we have saiva thing plant okay. up. Okay, right. So she um she doubled doubled yeah. the estate. So she she will be more in the um, fine garden. Okay, right. Yeah, no, and garden. your father did your father work in the estate then? My father worked in the estate. He leave the estate work in the, in, in the fifties. My mother, when she gets sick, she gets sick in the sixties. Mm -hmm. So when she leave the estate, um, is when she gets sick. No, did your father ever work in the estate with yes, her? Yes, he worked in the estate. That is while your mother was working. While my mother was working, but he worked. He he left he leave the estate work. Why? Because he became a private farmer. Cane sugar cane, cane farmer. Sugar cane farmer. So he had lands and so on. He yeah, bought yes, lands. He, family gave him lands. Well, he got some uh, some some lands were passed on to him. Yeah, lands what um, he get from my mother's side family. Okay, that's where, where your mother and mother inherited from her parents. Yeah, yeah, where my mother inherited from her. So he continued, how many acres were that? Well, he had all kind of 15 acres of land. So he cultivated it himself? He cultivated, but he had workers too. Okay, but did you, um, were you involved in, in any segment of it? Yes, I used to um, go in the garden and thing, but what happened is um, I used to cut cane too, but mostly on a Saturday. After work? No. Well, with my father, um, with my father in the 50s and 60s, um, 
in the sixties when I leave school um, I continue cutting cane with my father and we had plenty garden because my mother was sick and thing. My mother was sick and my sisters and them, they growing up. And then was young girls. How old were and they? And then my brother and them was small. Them was um, my brother was and them was small kids. Did anyone ever go to the quest there? Yeah? Three of my sisters. Oh, they were taken care of by the um Yes, the, was the crest. Three of them. Okay. Three of them. So you never spent any time in the crest? I can't recall that. But probably, but okay. Yeah, yeah, I can't recall that. I don't yeah. think so. Well, let me find out something. You are going to elementary school now. Let's go back. Yeah. What you did on Saturday and Sunday when you were Evil enough to work. Let us let's say you have about eight, nine, ten years. Did you have Saturday and Sunday for yourself to play home or did you go and help your parents in the garden? We had to help the parents in the morning time. Uh -huh. And then after lunch we might break away. When I say break away and go and play with the others, people cheer on and thing. We used to go and play in the playground and thing. And oh. That is on a... Mostly on a Saturday evening. On a Sunday evening we used to play too. Okay. This is what I'm saying, okay? Um, your parents, your father owned sugar cane. Yeah. Okay. You are old enough let's say 10 years, to go and help in the garden. Yeah. And the only time you will have to do that is Saturday and Sunday so, or school holidays. Yeah. As a student, did you go to do that in the garden to help your parents Saturday and Sunday? Yes, we help with parents. Sometimes we have to clean wrong the um, tomatoes tree and thing. Mm -hmm. and the melon john, the pepper and thing. Um, we have to help them clean up. But how because we used to make a lot of fine garden. But how far the garden was from your home? It was just behind the house. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So that's it. You just go and well. Yeah, yeah. That's going on. I know, I know where. Yeah. We, right. had, we had two, two acres of land going on. But you couldn't have gone anywhere f far to no. play? No. No. So you just confine yourself to that area yeah, to the yeah. rear of the house, yeah. the back of the house. Yeah. But you were occupied in an event on Saturday and Sunday doing chores, um, garden. Yeah, work. but on a Sunday morning sometimes, yeah. um, every other Sunday morning we used to have Hindi lessons. Where? At home? At home. Under the house. Who is the teacher? Who was the teacher? Mr. Sukram. Okay. A very old man. But for how, how long? How long did you do that for? Um, it's to teach the small children and thing. We did that for two years. Okay. About two years. But did you learn Hindi? We learn the only part to check okay. to count and thing. Not the ka ka ga ga wa cha cha Yeah, that's it. Ka ka ga 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 we, we learned that thing in the early days. Okay. Yeah. So, um, was a nice old man. So, he used to give the children and them every Sunday morning only mm -hmm. from half past seven mm -hmm. to nine. A teaching lesson. Teaching lesson. Okay. A pass them to that. So would you say that um, you had contributed towards the prosperity of your parents at a, at a early age as a child? Yes. Yes. So you because did. Because I remember one of the thing. The father, they had plenty land in Korea, mm. and the time my father leave, he never eat breakfast. Okay. So my job. Every morning, sometimes, 
Most of the time, when he had carry breakfast, mm -hmm. my mother is before she go in the estate, mm -hmm. so she used to pack it up mm -hmm. and put it in a bag, mm -hmm. a handle bag. Okay. Them a um, food bag. Okay. So I just put it in the handle mm -hmm. in the rally bicycle because we had a rally bicycle. To ride go to Korea? To Korea. So I used to go down in the gravel road in Korea. Okay. And I remember one time it was peas mm. and it had sauce in it. Mm -hmm. And while going down a, a hill, a mash breaks and a skid. Okay. And the bike fall. And as, when I watch inside, I see uh, the food messy in the, ba in the bag. Okay. And but I still went and gave my father it. So mm. he, he knew I was, in, he would have known that I fall down. Mm. But I didn't tell him anything. I just handed him the bag. I remember once. Okay. And, um, That's an accident. Yeah. But for those people who do not know where Ben Norman is, in fact, where Margaret it is, how far is Margaret from Princeton? Is it walking distance? We used to walk Princess. How long did it take you to walk from here to Magnitude? No, from Magnitude to Princess Town. It used to take me half an hour, 35 minutes. Until. And from Magnitude where you live to your garden, how long did it take? It used to take about roughly the, say, um, close to an hour. So the Korean is speaking about as a road that it called Korea that leads to Ben Norman village. Yeah. That is near Williamsville. Yeah. Okay. So it's a take me close to our 45 minutes something. To walk, yeah. To walk because we used to pass through shortcut. Mm -hmm. They just have a, a lot of sides. Trace and no. Trace. Mm -hmm. To make shortcut to go through the other um, village to get in the Korean road. But let's go let's go to something else now, eh? You are living in the heart of Margaret Is that so? Yes. Now going to the to the south there is a pond there, a big pond. What was the purpose of that pond? Where the scale is the, the scale it had of the two ponds. Yes. One was known as small pond. Mm -hmm. That is was in front of the scale. Mm -hmm. Now what is the scale? Where the scale the scale is a crane, is a big crane. Okay. So then it had the scale hut, which is full out. And the crane was to, to lift the, um, the, lift cane, the cane from the trans the trans from, vehicle yeah. and deposit it in the, the, the truck. The truck that would take it to St. Madeline, this is a mad factory. Yeah. But long ago had wheel transport. Yeah. In general, haul the cane yeah. to the factory yeah. and then you had Tasca. Yeah. Okay. Now over here, what was the, the popular mode of transportation from the fields to the derrick or to the scale, where they weigh the cane and it? Well, the transport was, um, it was mixed. Okay. It was cat, uh, animal cat, yeah. transporting cane, mm -hmm. and it it was uh, around 40 farmers bringing cane with cats mm -hmm. and um, then it had people with their wheel tractors okay. bringing cane with a flat trailer mm -hmm. and some of them with a bell trailer. What is bell trailer? Bell trailer is where you bundle the cane uh -huh. and the bell trailer will um, there's a winch, there's a wind that winch, winch it up. A winch will winch it up. So the, how many um, load can that carry? How many bundles? That could carry as much as five bundles. Depend on the size of the, the um, bell trailer. And then so, uh, how many tons then? That could carry about seven, eight tons, nine okay, tons, okay, okay. up to ten tons. But th those are for um, bigger farmers and Bigger so. farmers, yeah. Okay. And the poor ones would carry with transport with the animal cart, cats. like animal, to mule and yeah. donkey. So that will carry one ox. ton of cane sometimes. And the, and the, the, the trailer, the, the, the flat trailer, 
the flat tray that I carry three ton a cable. Three ton, okay. Right. Sometimes they carry two and a half. Right. Like okay. It. Well, we we have that location now. Yeah. And the nearest mill here is using said Martin. Using said Now we talk about the pond. What was the purpose of the pond? There were two ponds. So you said. Yeah. There was two ponds. Small pond. Uh -huh. And small pond was more for the animals to drink water. Well, okay, the animal, any animal could have gone yeah, there. Yeah, any animal could because have Because it gone. was by the derrick, right? By this the derrick. And then the big pond, which was over the Tasker Road mm -hmm. at Margaret Wood, M1 mm -hmm. Road, mm -hmm. that going to Pier Street, but is in the valley. Um, to Pier Street to where? That you could come out Manaham Road. Okay, so that. From Manam Road, this you is a country, this is a, a trace or road yes. that leads to the pond. Leads to the pond. Okay. And from Margaret, well that day in Margaret Road itself. Mm. So easy access for the people who live at Margaret Road. Okay. So people used to go there to bathe, people used to go there to wash their clothes. Mm -hmm. And it was a very big pond. Was that the only purpose? Why did they build the pond? Was well, there a factory there also? No, it didn't have no factory there. As long as you can remember? Yeah, as long but as But probably I before your time? Yeah. Okay. So, um, the pond was there, big pond, because of the amount of water, mm -hmm. you know? Because it's in a valley? In a valley. Because the amount are... of water. Okay, yeah. okay. Because of four sides, there were um, three sides. Yeah. Three sides of valleys. Yeah. I mean, um, hills, hills. Sorry. Hills, and uh, coming down to the valley. Okay. So the pond was there as a catchment area. Okay, right. Okay. To, to catch the water. Yeah, to receive the water yeah, and so on. Yeah, to receive you know. the water. But and the water was useful for the villagers. Okay. But the villagers the from, from Margaret from Margaret Wood, even from Manaham Bridge, Manaham, okay. Oak Road, all the people used to use the water. They used to come down to wash clothes and things. Okay. Because in those days was standpipe, mm -hmm. and most of the time you only get water in the night time. Okay. So, all 10 o'clock and thing, then you get water in the pipe, in the standpipe. Much people didn't have pipe in the yard. Okay. So um, we start to wash clothes and thing. People used to come in big pond mm -hmm. to wash the clothes okay. because it had um, concrete in certain areas. Okay, yes, but they could have um, yeah, squat or something and stand yeah. up on yeah. without slipping into the pond. Yeah, but how deep was that pond? That pond was very deep. People drowned in that pond already. Okay. Um, but is it still in existence? No. It's still. Um, what happened is it folded up because... With slush? Were, yeah. Not with slush. Uh -huh. What happened? The government doing a development there for housing. Recently? Um, more than 10 years ago. Okay. They grade up the land under Patrick Manning government. Mm -hmm. So that is more than 10 years from okay. now. That start and they um, it's still incomplete because successive government just leave it as that. Because they, no, well, um, um, they build roads and things there, but what happened there? No, they we speak it we, oh, because of the, um, the graded the, the graded and, and the what the... the yeah, they understand. pull up the pond. Yeah. Well, it, by the pond wasn't, the pond wasn't filled up deliberately because they had graded the place and the, the the water would come with all the sediments and pull up the pond. That's what you tell Yeah, yeah. And but then they're making drain and thing, different location. And everything is emptied in the pond. Yeah. Okay, so when the water... But they fill up the pond. They fill it they up. They just fill up now? Okay. Yeah, they fill it up. They, they fill it up. They fill it up completely. The, the, um, the authorities fill it up? Or it is... The authorities. Okay. They fill it up. Not Caroni. I understand that. Yeah, it's the government because they um, they want it for housing. Okay, I understand that. All right, the, NHA it, housing. It is no longer there. It's, it's no, no longer, longer there. there. Now? None of the pond. Okay. Small pond well, for a long time. 
we, we, that tunnel, do, what is the history of that tunnel? Do you know? The tunnel of magnitude. The, the Clegon, Clegon, what they call Clegon Estate? No, this is Magritte Estate. And the other estate beyond that was what? Glenroy. Glenroy is what? Glenroy, right? Yeah. So that is part of Glenroy development, that, that um, tunnel there. That tunnel is between Magritte and um, Glenroy. Okay. Margaret Hoot and Glenroy. You don't know when that came into being? That was before my time. Okay. That was, no, that was the railways, government railways to pass here. Yeah. Okay. The rail line. Mm -hmm. So that tunnel, the train used to pass here, yeah. the okay. government train line. All right. Yeah. Okay. So the train used to pass under that. But not only that, the um, cane, sugar cane from William Zealand. But yes, they tend it's the past, yeah, pass yeah. through there. That yeah. is the train with yeah. they enjoy the pull the tree, the um carriages with the carriages to the um factory. Factory Philip King, okay. Yeah. What else? But the people mostly here they depend on what for livelihood? In your time. Well, the people agriculture. Agriculture. Yeah. But they were mostly employed in the estate? Mostly employing the estate and who is private farmers. Farmers, okay. Cane farmers. Sugar cane farmers. Sugar cane farmers. Private but, sugar cane farmers and those who work in the sugar estate. Name some prominent people that evolved from this village, that came out of this village. In either sports, in medicine, engineering, teaching. Well, it have a few people who um, could stand out in the community. Mm -hmm. um, you have Chai Bihari. He was a teacher, okay. acting principal. Okay. Of a secondary school, is it? He was in secondary. He um, he was teaching in. We apply all. Yes, secondary school. Okay. Right? You have... There's a gentleman they call who um, had a commercial college um, in San Fernando, a Sylvan. Do you remember him, Sylvan? Sylvan is from... Um, but he lived and he went... Um, then he went away and he came Trinsvilla, Trinsvilla. Yes, I know who you're talking about, yeah. But he's the founder of Trin Trinsvilla? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's from this area? Yeah, he's from this area. He's from my village. Okay, all right. So my most rivulets. of the people from here yeah. went to that Trinsvilla and that is, that is a very prominent school. They teach yeah, yeah, all sorts of technical yeah. subjects and yeah, so on. Yeah. Sylvan, Sylvan Mohammed. Mohammed. I remember yeah. him. But um, he have another name too. Okay, well that's yeah. probably is a nickname. Yeah, yeah. No, who, you know, have any other, anybody who grew up in this area and achieved some position of prominence? With distinction. Okay. Okay, let's come to their father. Right? Yeah. And he was a philanthropist. Um, he was a, he was a mover. Right? Yeah, yeah. And he could have handled anything, any time, right? Because I don't do it, man, and yeah, yeah. full of with common sense and so on. Tell me something about your father. Well, my father was born in Botna. Okay. And from Botna, the family came, and my grandmother, which is my father's mother, uh, she brother gave she a lot along near Maritou Temple mm -hmm. because he was living, he had three lots of land. Mm -hmm. So he gave his sister, which is my father, mother, one lot. Mm -hmm. And she built she house here and they moved out from Vodnav and they came here in the late 40s. Mm -hmm in the late 40s 
to live. 19, the late 40s. Mm -hmm. um, and they grew up here from boyhood days to manhood days. Mm -hmm. um, and my uncle, my father, brother, all of them work in the sugar estate. All of them work in the sugar estate and make a livelihood through the sugar estate and they, they, um, they build their own home and thing afterwards. Okay, coming to your father now, right? I know he was in the religious side, right? He was a, a deeply religious Hindu. Yeah, yeah. Tell me his achievement in that area. Well, he he was very religious. Um, he was one of the first, if not the first, to have Bhagwat mm -hmm. and Rama and Jag. He was very religious. He used to have nine night Rama and Jag. He used to have seven days Bhagwat. You can tell me what is a Bhagwat, so people know what this is. Bhagwat is when you Hindu prayers mm -hmm. during the daytime and the night time mm -hmm. for seven days. They have the Gobaratan Puja, mm -hmm. which is a special puja mm -hmm. on a Thursday night. Mm -hmm. Right. So the Bhagwat is seven days. And they used to feed the people. Every day. Every, every, every day. Every session. Every session. They so there were three the sessions. People. They used to have from nine in the morning? To, yeah, nine in the morning to eleven thirty. Uh -huh. And then in the evening from two and after the eleven four, thirty after the eleven they fed you, right? After the seven days. No, I'm talking about the the, the the meals. Yes, they used, to, they used to feed them during lunch time. After each session, there, there were three sessions. Yeah, okay. three sessions. They used to get, um, the people used to get a meal. Okay. Right? They used to have the leaf, mm -hmm. special leaf, mm -hmm. and um, everybody used to get food. So there were three sessions 11, uh, no, 90, 11, and 1 to? No, two to four. Two to four and? And then from seven uh -huh. in the night to nine. Okay. And then they so sometimes they go half past nine. Okay, okay. Yeah, because we... But for how many years he did that? He did that for about ten years. Okay. Because my mother was with him foot to foot. And then... Okay. And then my grandmother and them. Okay. All of them were still involved. And a lot of the ladies from the estate okay. used to help. So it was a estate. community thing? It was a community thing? Or he financed it himself? Um, most of the money come from um, both my mother and his pocket. But what happened? Other people used to give a little Donation. support. Okay, okay. support. Yeah. So right, that, that is... Uh, not cash, not my cash. But they will bring flour. Yeah. They will bring chana. Yeah. They will bring food stuff. Food stuff. Raw food stuff. Yeah. Okay. Food stuff. Potato. Some of them might bring a bag of potato. Yeah. Some of them might bring because you have to feed the people three meals. Okay. So I um, think there. But so mostly you have to get support with some people bringing a flour and thing like that. Okay. And he, he had built a temple. Where is that temple? Well, the temple, he built that in the government train line in Margaretwood by the scale. On the government train line or to the side of the train line? Because the temple is no, in, in the train line. Because when he built that, the train did not go on out of arm. Okay. So it, so okay. it. And what happened? When he built that, the train did not go on out. So he built that of his own? He built that, he started to offer the own. Okay. But later on, people help. Okay. 
So it was fully um, op operational. Yes. Until he died. Until he died. Okay. So it is Which right. Way? It is near um, Glenroy Tunnel there. It is near the Magritte ton Tunnel, which is going to Glenroy. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah, the Magritte Tunnel, which is leading mm -hmm. to Glenroy. Okay. What sort of transport he used to haul his scheme? Well, he used cat, animal cat. No, like what? They had mule? The, uh, he had mule, and then later on, he yeah. used bison. Okay. But, um, he himself used to drive a mule, and my small brother, mm -hmm. Lolly Boy, he used to um, drive the mule. He How many children he had, by the way? He had he had three sons, mm -hmm. and four daughters. Okay, and they all are but, married. But one died at an early age. Okay. One died at an early age. Coming to you now, tell me something about yourself. You said you had gone to technical institute, okay? Yeah. Then you assisted your parents after that. But did you advance yourself further? And in what field, in what area? No, well, after technical and I became a farmer. Mm -hmm. In 1978, okay. I became a farmer of my own. Mm -hmm. A that registered is, farmer. Now, when you say of your own, what do you mean? Did you buy land? You had land, you inherited land? Farmland, cane land? Yes, I uh, inherited a three acres of land. From? Parents, mother. From my parents. Okay, and you said. And um, I get that three acres of land, and with that, I became a registered farmer in 1978 with Kiaroni 1975 Limited. Mm -hmm. And when I became a farmer, a registered farmer, at the same time, uh, I was renting land from Dr. Huber. Okay. And which was three acres of land. Mm -hmm. So um, that was Doc, Dr. Huber, freehold land. Okay. And I was a tenant and um, I had a cultivation of sugar cane. So I became a registered farmer with Kiaroni in 1975 Limited. Okay, well let's go to, to how you expanded, how you expanded to be a baking farmer. No, well, I only had that amount of land. Okay. I only had that amount of land. But uh, did you only depend on cane for livelihood? No. I didn't only depend on cane because I used to get um, temporary work at Ministry of Works. Mm -hmm. As what? As a laborer, I start off here mm -hmm. as a laborer. Mm -hmm. Temporary work. I used to work at two months and they cut me off. They stopped me. And then Sometimes I get four months of work. For but the did year. you finally get um, a permanent employment? No, I did get regular employment. Regular is, and regular is different from permanent, is yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. What is the difference? Well, regular, you could work um, for a whole year. Uh -huh. But just you're not permanent. You're not, okay. You're just yeah. not permanent. You're not permanent in the establishment. In the establishment. But did you so, get permanent, finally? Yes, the last, in 2010, um, just before I retire, I get permanent. 
you about, had about five years before I retired. You had mentioned that you were qualified as a welder. welder. What yeah. happened to that qualification? You just remain. Well, well what happened with that qualification? When I get work in um, in Ministry of Work, yeah. I get work as a semi-skilled laborer, and for six months they mm -hmm. had me in the mechanic section mm -hmm. because I was a welder. Okay. But it had permanent people there. Okay. So it was very difficult to get in there because they had people already well. And there was no vacancy, there was no vacancy, no vacancy there. there. But what else did they do there, right there? What did you do there? Move up. Did you move up, move down, or move out? No. Well, I started working at a laborer. Mm -hmm. Just now. I work as a semi-skilled laborer. Okay. I work as a... a expediter. That is? You know is a expediter. But speak to me, yes. The expediter mm. is that you're going to get material mm. and collect material. Um, Making sure that you uh, bring the correct material. No, from where? From hardware and things. For the for the ministry. Well, you were in the transport division then. Yeah, transport division. As a helper, helping load a truck or a vehicle. One time I was I was working in furniture section. Where ministry ministry of works. Ministry of works. I work in furniture section. And when I work in furniture section, it wasn't permanent. But I used to work in a truck there where we transport. Things. Okay, okay. How long did you do that? Well, I did that for about five years. Mm -hmm. Five years. And then after you retired? No. I did that for five years, and then, then when I leave there, they send me maintenance section. Mm -hmm. So it have this uh, different section. I went, mm -hmm. I start working in um, as a cutlass man. Okay, right. I would like to know you had continued all your service in Wuxi Park. Okay. Yeah. When did you retire? I retired in 2010. Did you do anything? Did you continue cultivation during the period that you were working? Yes, because I had the time. Because when I was a cutlass man, okay. I said, I start work early and I finish work 9 o'clock. Okay, apart from sugarcane cultivation and working as a laborer or whatever portfolio you held in the works department, did you do anything else? Were you an organizer of some sort? Yes. I was involved in the trade union. What trade union? In the cane farmers, sugar cane farmers union. An organizer? Yes, as an organizer. And what, what was the far, furthest you read? Not organizer, did you go beyond an organizer? Yes, I was Assistant Secretary of the Trinidad Island White Cane Farmers Association. Well, how, what propelled you to be uh, in that elevated position? Well, what happened? Um, the union had a meeting in the community here, mm -hmm. near the Margaret Wood scale. And they elect young people, which was including myself, which are young person at the time. And we, they wanted young people to represent the sugar cane farmers. So you were then a cane farmer? Okay. I was a cane farmer. Okay. So and the cane farmer represented, is a representative to, um, to solve the grievances. Yeah, the grievances. To bring to the attention of the company. Yeah. Right? Okay. And 
to represent them to get the reaping passes, okay. to represent them to get the road graded, mm -hmm. and wherever necessary to be graveled, mm -hmm. and cylinder crossing and thing bridges, wherever there is blockage and thing and mm -hmm. bridges and thing to fix. So um, it was more representation to the um, to the farmers. Okay. That was in 1987, mm -hmm. right? My father was the skill representative, mm -hmm. and he invited me to the meeting. Okay. And he was a skill representative, and then I became one of the skill representatives together with him. Did your father not read and write? My father cannot read. Mm -hmm. But he could write, he could write a name, he could count money, he could count if you work on what days or whatever. He calculated. He could calculate. He could count. He could count in the quids and um, he, pound shillings and pence, dollars and cents during that time? He could count. Okay. Now, how did you? Well, what you said, you, you indicated, there are some indication that you succeeded him. Is that so? Yes, I succeeded Tell him. me how. Well, what happened? They wanted young people to represent Okay. Them. The union wanted young people to represent the army. So my father brought me in. My father invited me to the meeting because he wanted me. He wanted me to be one of the representatives. Mm -hmm. So that is how I came into it. Well, tell me what of your modus operandi. How did you go about um, winning the confidence of the people to be a, a representative? Well, what happened, uh, There was... The older people, they knew my father, they knew... They wanted disciplined people. Okay. So, I was one, the people had faith in me. Mm -hmm. And I was one day elected as secretary. And Ram Narayan Subaya, he was the proposed president of the group in 1985. Mm -hmm. 1985. So he was the first president. And I was the first secretary. And I remained secretary until 2016, from 1985 to 2016, Secretary Ali Magritu, Bonitento, Kregnish, Manahambri, Farmers Group. But how did you, um, did you go house to house to explain things that... Yes, you... yes, I went house to house. I was one of the person who was more in touch with the people. Okay. Yeah, I was more devoted because I'm a religious background. Mm -hmm. To talk to people. Want when you say religious by what religion? Well, I grew up as a in a. Hindu home. Okay, that is okay. And then you were indoctrinated in that. Yeah. And there are certain... Yes, yeah, so help I grew you. up disciplined mm -hmm. in my early boyhood days mm -hmm. um, in the Hinduism mm -hmm. um, with good manners mm -hmm. and respect, mm -hmm. respecting people. Mm -hmm. And then later in Christianity, Mm -hmm. um, I grew up liking human beings, mm -hmm. you know. So I used to go house to house and meet the people and talk to them. And I never hurry to leave when people ask in question or mm -hmm. anything, having dialogue. But did you say, did you cover every, did you speak to every farmer in the area? 
I will say 90%. So that, um, so when the election came, did you, did I you have... I will say 90% because what happened? When I say speak to them. But your, your position was an elected position, is it? Elected, yeah. So you had no problem in getting support? No. Okay. And how long did you survive in that, in that um, capacity? No, well, first I was elected um, with, the, um, with the National Farmers and Workers Union. Mm. And then the government, the Basti Pandi government, they wanted one union to represent the cane farmers mm -hmm. because it had three unions mm -hmm. and they wanted one union. So Tikfa was a recognized union mm -hmm. and they decided to have election in 1998. Yes. They decided to have an election with all the farmers, financial, non-financial, all the farmers, one election. But did you to, feature did you feature in that election? Yes. What do you what you were elected to what position? After Rafiq Shah Slate won the election, mm -hmm. we um, I was elected as assistant secretary at the Trinidad mm -hmm. Island White Cane Farmers okay, Association. Yeah. And that was from 1998 mm. until 2010 when the association dissolved. Okay. Because TICFA was governed by an act of parliament. Mm -hmm. So then you come, what do you do now? Well now, I is a pensioner. Okay. Retired pensioner. So I do gardening. Um, do gardening for home purposes. But um, um, do you still do voluntary work? In any yes, case? I yeah. continue as president of the Williamville United Farmers Association presently. Okay. Presently, I the president of the Williamville United Farmers Association. What do you all do? Like we represent farmers, um, land tenure issues, mm -hmm. transfer tenancy, and so forth. Mm -hmm. um, all land matters, farmers who purchase the house lots mm -hmm. from the agriculture holding and mm -hmm. so forth, we represent them. And then a wide range of area, pesticide, chemicals and so forth, fertilizers. How vibrant is that association? The association is very functional okay. because it's a group well established in 2016. 2016. Who are the agencies you deal with in the government? We deal with the Ministry of Agriculture. We registered as a non-governmental organization, uh, NGO, with the Community Development, okay. the Ministry of Community Development. So it is a registered. Okay, I'm going to resume this interview now because it was aborted for technical reasons. And I'll, I'll continue now. And here is the Jewish Suki. Suki, can you tell me something? We were speaking about um, agriculture and your voluntary work in this respect, particularly in the, the trade union movement, okay? Tell me, can, can you continue? Yes, um, well, I w was involved in the Trinidad Island where I came from, the mm -hmm. association. I was assistant secretary there. Mm -hmm. 
assistant secretary yes. from 1998 to 2010. Mm -hmm. I was assistant secretary of the Trinidad Island White King Farmers Association. I was representative at the Margaret Ruth section, Margaret Ruth skill section. Okay, we had discussed that already. We, 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 we go into this, the food crop farmers, you, you represent them also. Can you expand on that? Yes. Well, with the Presently, I am president of the Williamville United Farmers Association. Okay. That is a well-organized group that was registered as a non-governmental organization, NGO, with the Ministry of Community Development. Mm -hmm. It also registered with the Ministry of Agriculture, Lands and Fisheries. Mm -hmm. It represents farmers from the districts of Bonaventia, Puna, Beloman, Reform, Garth Road, and Hadbagen, and Williamville. So it's a large group, and we get proper representation with the Ministry of Agriculture. We have officers from the Community Development attending our meeting. We have from the Agriculture Society of Trinidad. We have officers coming from that organization too. So we are a well-oiled organization, meaning that we well represent the farmers here. Okay, all what forefront? Right, I wanted to find out something. What are the issues you deal with that are affecting farmers? The issues is mainly land tenure. Okay. And development of access roads. All right. Um, in the case of land tenure, we represent farmers. The tenancy, right? They are tenants of the state. They are paying a yearly rent to the state. And we represent them to get the lease. Government ha now have a policy that you have to um, severe your land as a tenant mm -hmm. in order to get your lease. Okay. So you have to pay for that, the tenant have to pay for the surveyor. And that is a government policy now. Mm -hmm. That you have to pay, the, farm, the tenant have to pay and for the surveying, and they have to take a registered surveyor. That means a surveyor who is registered with the, um, with the board, with the mm -hmm. registration board. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. But if the we, lease has expired, what do you do? If your lease expired, you have to apply to the commissioner of state land mm -hmm. for renewal of your okay. lease, right? And most likely, you and all might have to severe your land in order to get your new lease. Okay. Because that is a government policy. In order to get your lease, mm -hmm. you have to have you have to survey your land. With proper marking, proper boundaries, and so forth. In the case of the food crop farmers, we represent them. Access roads. We make representation for the government to fix the access roads. The roads what fall under the um, local government, the corporation. We make representation. But do, are they um, working? Do, when they make represent, does it? Well, think? what the ministry do? The extension officers they come and they visit the roads. Mm -hmm. They see 
they will take the names of the farmers who have access to the, the road, each road, and they will take the names of the farmers who is presently doing food crop. Mm -hmm. They will have a listing of the names of the farmers who are doing food crops and how much acreage and what type of crops. Likewise, they will take the names of the farmers who have other fields but who have it abandoned. They will take the acreage of those fields and they will, with all the roads, they will have a pri priority listing in the county. Not no, I want to find out something. Well, I haven't done this. Does the government respond in a positive way? No, presently they have everything on hold. They have it on file. They have it on the system, on the computer. So what is keeping back? Um... Funding. Government funding. So there's so nothing, pre, everything nothing, is on hold. Nothing doing presently. So the but they have it on a list, on a so priority So do you all continue to make representation? Yes, we continue making representation because we want the road fixed. And we, we continue making representation. Because they say when they get funding, they will do it. But they okay. have a priority listing for, the okay. victor, for each county. Anything, do you want to, anything else to say anything again? I want to say, um, for the length of time I involved from 1978 to presently, it was a joy for me to represent the farmers. It was something that I enjoy having dialogue and discussion among the farming groups. And At age 72 now, <laughs> I think being still active with God's grace, I have to thank God for His grace towards me. Okay. Well, from thanking God now, I wish to thank you yeah, yeah. for having invited me here yeah. to, this, in, to do this interview with you. I think you are quite... Um, effective in saying what you had to say, to bring it to the attention of the worldwide, the audience, because this will be posted in, on YouTube, on my Facebook. Okay? I must thank you very much. Um, I've known you for many, many years, and I've known you to be a person who's always at the beck and call of the farmers. Okay? And you ask anybody around, they will tell you. You take people and carry them to various offices to solve their problem. And you have good, a good um, connection to the authorities. Okay? So I must thank you again, Mr. S Suki. Yeah. Suki Sinarain. Okay? Thank you very much. This is Sam Sarup signing off from Magritude Road. In Margaret, near Princess Town, and the nearest um, tourist area is what's the name of that tunnel again? That is um, Glenroy Tunnel. Glenroy Tunnel. That is just about a stone chew from here, about three minutes walk from where I am now. I Thank you again. I could say something again. I forget. Okay, do you want to say anything again? Yeah, I was also president of the Victoria County Agricultural Committee, Ministry of Agriculture. Okay, okay, okay. Victoria County, uh -huh. Secretary of the Victoria County from 1998 for five years mm -hmm. to 2003. I was Secretary of the Victoria County Agricultural Committee, Ministry of Agriculture. I was Assistant Secretary of the Regional Agricultural um, Committee, Regional Agriculture, Assistant Secretary, during that same period for five years. It was a pleasure 
to be serving the farming industry. Uh, during my tenure, I serve well, make a lot of, have a lot of dialogue with government officials and make proper representation. Thank you. Okay, well, of course, we, we, we um, I'm concluding here with this final note that you have wonderful credentials, right, that fit in your personality. This is why you are well known. You, are, you have traversed the whole of County Victoria and more so in the sugarcane industry and the crop agricultural field. Thank you very much. So you have a picture.